Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shauna. If you've been here from the start, welcome back, welcome back. All right, so the today word is idol worship. I hear the Lord keep saying idol worship to me, idolizing and things like that. And what is idol worship? Is worshiping someone or something as if it's a God, like you put in this thing so high like it's better than God or it's above God. And this can include things that you wouldn't even think of. Money, car, house. Um, literally false idols, different gods you make with your hands. Any other gods that's not Jesus Christ or the Father is idol worship. It's there's only one and true living God, and that is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So any other God that you worship other than our one and true God is idol. That's a, that's, that's idol worship. So, and other things could be like, even your, your, your husband, your wife, the promises he made to you. Any single thing that is, you see in the physical, you could touch. Or anything you build with your own hands like some little simple thing that you wouldn't even think you're idolizing you are literally idolizing this and this is the Lord want you to check yourself go to the father and say father is there anything in my life that I'm idolizing act that you search my heart and you reveal it to me this is very important because in the Ten Commandments the first two commandments was, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Because you know your father is a jealous God. And he's the one and true God. So I don't see why you should put nothing above him. Okay? And the other one is, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images. Don't make no false God like you see these people worship. Like Buddha and all these other um, gods. The, the small g. Those are not God. There's only one and only true big God. And it's our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Any other God is idols. Idols are dumb. They're dead. They can't talk. They can't do nothing. Okay? Our God is real. Our God is alive. Our God speaks to us. Our God, the real God, it, Jesus Christ, interact with us. All right? All the other gods are false idols and they don't talk. And... I like when I was reading the Bible and it was talking about I think it was in the book of Isaiah and he's saying think about it how are you gonna use a piece of the wood to cook but then later on you cover idol and worship it like you just chop the wood up, uh, up to cook like how can that be a God like you get what I'm saying <laughs> when I was reading I was like oh wow and even in the Bible the ch I don't know how many times you see in the Bible when the, they cry out to God and you know God's a merciful, forgiving, gracious God and the Lord will forgive them. And like every time I read the Bible, I'm like, oh, these, these, these people of Israel, I mean, these, they, they don't learn. And as soon as God rescued them, they go back to the idol. And when they're in trouble, the idol can't help them. But as soon as God helped them, they go back. Me, I'm reading it. I'm so frustrated. I'm like, I would have just forget these people and call it a day. But when I look back at it, I'm like, wow, actually it is the same thing that is happening today because we we do worship. A, a lot of people worship stuff and idolize. Even sometimes in our own life, even my life, I might idolize something that I don't even realize that I'm doing. All right. But, and this is why God is God and not man, because we do not have such grace and such patience and such love to keep forgiving people and showing up <laughs> you, you know this is why grace I'm, I'm like wow like i see why you're god because we we would have just been over it already because i would have been over it already every time i read it i get so upset because <laughs> i'm like how can they not realize that those are idols and they don't work every time you uh, yes so the lord want you to search your heart Ask him to reveal if there's anything you're idolizing in your life. Any like some people literally idolize a designer wear clothes. I'm not saying nothing is wrong with it. If the Lord promised you designer wear, yes, we understand that. But I'm saying some people literally go out their way, spend their last dollar to get it, knowing 
they won't have no money to pay their rent literally are sending their children to school that's so that's how much they idolize like some name brand stuff and things like that but do not idolize nothing you're the only person there's only one and one true god all right jesus christ your lord and savior all right anything you want you go to him he said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added unto you. You don't need to idolize nothing in this world. If you're look, looking to him and you're living for him, you're good. He's going to take care of everything. Don't make no graven image because that is a jealous God. That's the, that, I think that's one of the most furious sins you could do against God. I know even though it says all sins are the same, but I'm telling you, this makes him angry. Now you could see for yourself in the Bible when you read it. So if you are idolizing anything in your life, you need to drop it. You need to repent, cry out to the Lord for forgiveness. And when you repent, it means to turn away from the, the whatever you was doing and don't go back to it. All right. We all fall short, we all fall short of the glory every day and all that. But some people do things when they know the right, when they know it's right. All right. Committing a sin, when you commit a sin and you don't, didn't know, okay, the Lord understand that. If you do a sin intentionally and you know the consequences, then that's a different thing between you and him. So if you know the truth and you're still doing things that you know you're supposed to not doing, yeah, that's between you and the Lord and you're going to have to go to him with that. Yes, he's going to still forgive you, but he's... There will be consequences, all right? So, yes, just repent. Go to the Lord. The only person you're supposed to idolize in is God, all right? Learn learn to hear him. Learn to know him. Have a relationship with him. Be so obsessed with him that, yeah, you literally idolize him because he is the one and only God, right? So, he wants to have a relationship with you. He don't want you to idolize nothing else but him. Go to him. He's the one and only God. Learn to build a relationship with him. There's nothing special about me that I can hear him. I'm just intentional and I read the word and I seek him. You can do the same. There is nothing special about me. I'm a wretch just like you, okay? That's saved by grace, all right? So you can do it too. Develop that relationship and stop idolizing things of the world. Sometimes we're so distracted by things of the world, we forget about God. He's the one and only God, our one and our only lord and savior so look to him and not idols all right and remember if you don't know the lord if you don't know jesus christ as the lord and savior you pray the little salvation prior in the description box and i'm gonna pin it it's simple father i know that i am a sinner and i believe that you died on the cross for my sins and you was raised from the dead after three days I invite you in my heart to be my Lord and personal Savior, and I want to serve you for the rest of my life. Some people do it different, but that's a version I do. You just pray that simple prayer, and when you do that, you be intentional and start seeking the Lord and learning about Him, all right? That's the word for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video. Remember, don't idolize nothing or make any graven image before God because He's a jealous God, and it's a, one, it's a sin, all right? Stay blessed. Bye.